Well, hello again. I'm back again with another puzzle today, but not a Sudoku this time. Um, but first, before we get to the puzzle, I actually have an announcement, which I never have announcements, but I do. Um, actually, announcement and a question. The announcement is uh, recently passed 400 subscribers, which I know is a small number, but it was a milestone for this channel at least. Um, and so I've decided I am. Uh, I've had a puzzle hunt that I've been working on. And I am going to release it when I get to 500 subscribers. So if you want to see the puzzle hunt that I've created, um, it's a Sudoku hunt. Um, tell you all your friends to subscribe. We got to get to 500 before I'm going to release that puzzle hunt. Um, now, the other thing is I have a question for all of my viewers. Uh, it has been suggested to me numerous times over and over again by my mom that... Um, <laughs> I need to change the name of my channel to not just be my name and something clever like Puzzle Guy or something, um, but but better than that. Uh, so let me know what you think. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. Do you think I should just keep it named after me? Do you have suggestions what I should call it? Um, I'd appreciate some input there. So now today we're going to do a couple puzzles. These are not Sudokus. Um, I saw on the Cracking the Cryptic Discord server a uh, post from Shy that um, they're going to start doing genuinely approachable pencil puzzles. There's been a group doing genuinely approachable Sudokus for a while, and they're going to start doing non-Sudokus as well. And they posted uh, a puzzle called, I believe it's Ta Square. Let's see, I've got it in Puzzling here. I'm, I think that's pronounced Ta Square. That's what I'm going to assume. Could be Ta Square, maybe? Ta Square? something. I'm going to say Ta Square. But um, I'd never heard of Ta Square before, uh, and so I thought, oh, it'd be fun to try out a new puzzle type. And someone else, uh, Murat Cantata, who we've done uh, some puzzles before from Murat, uh, also posted a Ta Square. So I'm going to try and do both of those, and um, we'll just learn it together, I guess. So rules on this puzzle type are Shade some cells so that each orthogonally connected area of shaded cells is in the shape of a square, and the remaining unshaded cells form one orthogonally connected area. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Clued cells cannot be shaded and represent the total size of the shaded squares that share an edge with the clue. And if a clue has no number, it must share an edge with at least one shaded square. So we're shading, we're like drawing squares in the grid. And the number tells us how many connected cells. So like the four here, I guess, could have something like that connected to it because it would be size four connected to the four. And these empty ones have to have a shaded cell connected to them. And the total size remain. And there's a, um, they provided an example one that I'm going to stick on the screen here. It'll be right that way. Right up, right up there, somewhere. There, maybe. Somewhere in there. There's an example. Um, so you can kind of see how it works with the shaded cells. And um, I think that is it. So I'm going to try it out. I've never done one of these before. Um, should be interesting. They do provide some uh, kind of time standards and we're not going to worry about those because this is our first time doing this puzzle and I'm sure we're not going to be anywhere near the good time standards. So, um, well, I guess, I mean, up here we know these, these two unshaded ones have to have cells next to them, right? So how does that work? I mean, that one clearly is the only cell that could possibly be shaded next to this one. And then that's the only one, but we can't do, you can't have, oh, right, right, okay, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, you can't do uh, two squares connected like this, but of course, it has to be part of a bigger square. Now, could it, no, it can't be any bigger, because if we go three by three, then this one is going to have nine cells connected. It's got to be like that, and then we can fill those in, because we can't connect, you know, if we connect another square to it now it's not a square anymore it's this weirdo shape here so um, but i think i think you're allowed let me look at the example one again yeah yeah they can connect you could put a square like that they can connect diagonally that's okay so this one now has to have a cell right uh, a shaded cell right here 
because that's the only place that can have one. Now this two needs one more, so one of these two has to be shaded, which means that one can't be. Okay, so let's see, maybe we look, oh, right here, yeah, yeah. So, so these two needed this big square, this two by two square next to them because they have to have a shaded cell. Now that we know these two aren't shaded, these two are gonna have to have the same thing next to them, aren't they? And now this two, it's got to have, yeah, you, so, right, so you're making squares, so the only options for sizes are actually 1, 4, 9, 60, they have to be the square numbers. So the only way to get 2 is by two ones, which has to be those two, now that we've marked that one. Now we have to be careful here, not, to, the unshaded cells, right, that was one of the rules, right? Unshaded cells form one orthogonally connected region, right? So, which is, it's, that's a common rule in uh, pencil puzzles where you have to make sure the unshaded areas are all connected. So this area up here is getting a little close. We just have to make sure that it stays connected somehow. Um, now these two squares, since they're connected to the two by two here, we don't have the same thing. They could have cells over here, but they don't need to. What about this four? So the only way to get four is four ones or a four. But if you do four ones, well, it breaks the one over here, but also it isolates this unshaded cell, which is what we were just saying we needed to not do. So this has to have a two by two connected to it, but we can't put it right here because of that one. So that's no good. Um, oh, and we can't put it down here because then the one would have four connected to it. So you can't go down there. You obviously can't do it off the grid, so it's got to be those four. I think that's the only way you can connect a two by two to this four. And now the one only has one option there. Ah, the nine. The nine. The only way to do nine, well, you could do four, four, and one. But since it's at the edge of the grid and you can't go below it, there's no way to do four, four, and one. So it's got to be just a three by three, which has to be in there, right? Um... Ah, now the 11 is connected to nine cells, needs two more, and the only way to get two is two ones, so they've got to be there. Um, the six has two, it needs four more, which is going to have to be a two by two. Can't go up here because it connects to that one. So I think it has to be right there. I think that's the only way you can connect a two by two to that six. And now this two has to get both of those. It's the only place it can pick up two cells. The one already has one. Uh, the two has two options still. Okay, what about over here? The 10 needs one more. Oh, and it can't go right there because it makes like a, a weird, um, I don't know, whatever shape that is. Really fat top hat. Uh, so it's got to be right there. Now, the five needs a two by two. The only place it can go is right there. Uh, and so then, oh, right, right, right. So the two, we said either one of these would work, but actually, if you put it right there, these black cells sequester this corner down here. Remember, all the unshaded have to connect to each other. So that one actually has to be open, which puts it there. Um, and then, what do we do down here at the bottom? This one needs to have, right, so that has to be a square, so we can't go there, and this one has to have a cell connected to it, which has to be there, and that's a one by one. We can't expand it into a two by two because this one is unshaded, so these also must be unshaded. There we go. Complete. All right, 543. That doesn't seem too bad for our very first puzzle. Um, yeah, that's, that's not within their uh, time... Uh, suggested time standards, but those time standards are probably also assuming you actually know the rules to the puzzle ahead of time. Um, well, I mean, like, like you're familiar with this puzzle type. Obviously, we had the rules, but <laughs> we were just learning them as we were trying the puzzle. So there you go. That was uh, Toss Square. I'm going to do another one now. Um, 
All right, so here is puzzle number two. This is another task square. This one's by Mirat Contanta. Um, and it's much bigger, I notice. It doesn't have any blank squares, so that's interesting. Um, we're going to reset our timer, and let's see how this goes. All right, so... Oh, where do we start on this one? Let's see. So... Well, the five is going to have to have a four and a one, right? And obviously the four can't... So we've got three places where we can be adjacent to a five. The four can't be down here because it runs into the two. But it could be there, or there, or there. Yeah... Not sure. Okay, there's a few options there. Uh, is the 20 any good? How do you make 20 using 1, 4, 9, and 16? Obviously, you can't use 25, so 16 and 4 would work. You could do 9, 9, 1, and 1, but I don't think that's going to work because you'd have to use all four of the you know adjacent, and two of them would be 1s. And let's just assume this is a one over here. Now, how are you going to fit two nines in here? Because the nines are, yeah, it's just not going to work. Because if this one was a nine, it's a three, yeah. It's just not going to work. You can't do nine, nine, one, and one. Uh, it's got to be 16 and four. So there's got to be one where it's a four by four. Let's see. Now, it can't go to the right at all. You're going to connect to the four. Oh, it could be, it could be. Could it connect to the 19? Oh. Well, it can't connect to the 19 anyways because it doesn't fit either in here because of the 4 or in here because of the 6. So it's not going to connect to the 19. So we can't hit the 6 or the 4. So it could be, it'd be kind of in this area. Could just stick off to the side here. Mm, this one, I don't think, I don't think these two can be cells, can they? I was just looking, this two needs two ones. So either that one is a shaded cell, in which case both of those are not shaded cells, or both of these are shaded cells, in which case those are not. So those two are not shaded, so you can't stick the four by four. Okay, it can't be down here. So it's got to be connected off the left side. You can't come off the top. Oh, you can still do the top, can't you? Something like this might work. I think that's possible. Okay, so it's either up there or it's... Uh, oh, but it can't come off this side because it's going to touch the 13. And we, we can't have 16 connected to the 13. So it does have to be up at the top. It has to be up here, which then means we can fill in all of these around here. And now the two has to be this way, and the five has to have its four cells up there. Now the two up here needs these. We can fill in all of those and that one. Now we can't put one here. I don't know why we'd want to anyways, because it doesn't give us anything with any of our... Um, numbers, but it would block unshaded cells up there. Now this 20 needs to have a 2x2 two two connected to it as well. But that could be a lot of places. Okay, what about... What else can we do? Do the 5s down here help at all? So we know they both have to have a 4 and a 1 connected to them. And so, I mean, clearly the four can't be in here, right? So they have to have, like, this top five either has to have one there or there. Could it do that? Would that work? No, because this one, this one needs to have, they both need to have, um, they, they both have three options. 
for adjacent cells, and they need to use two of them because they have to have a four and a one. So if you do that, it's taking away two of the three options from the other five. So we can't do that. So in fact, I think, I think we know that that's empty right there. So it could be here or there, but either way, that one is taken. The same thing down here. It's that one, and then it's either these three or these three that surround it. So, right, but think about this. If it's this way, you can't use that one, right? And if it's this way, you can't use that one. So essentially you can only use one of these two, which means it's single one has to be there. And likewise, same thing up here. So we know that much. What about this 19? Can we do anything with the 19? It's gotta be, does it have to be 16 and three ones? I think it does. Cause you know, any cell has at most four potential adjacent cells. And so if you did nine, oh, you could do nine, nine and one, couldn't you? Oh, and you can't do, never mind. You can't do 16 and three ones. Cause I think we said before on the last puzzle, you can't use all four adjacent cells or you have, you're isolating an unshaded cell in the middle. So actually every, every cell, every number has at most three potential. Um, it might have four places, but you could only have at most three connected. So it's gotta be nine, nine and one then, doesn't it? Yeah, it's gotta be nine, nine and one. So two nines, those are three by threes. We can't connect to the 20 because we only have four left there. We can't connect to the six. So we can't come off the left side here. Now we could come off the bottom like that. That would work. But only if it was that way, it couldn't stick to the left here and connect to the six. So we could come off the bottom with a nine. We could come off the top with a nine. Could we go to the right? Yeah, we could. But, Actually, I don't think you can come to the right because if it went to up, then you would um, you'd be removing the the top as an option for another nine, right? We need two nines. If it went down, well, it can't go down because it would connect to the. Actually, if it was on the right, the only way it could go is right there, because we have to avoid connecting to this one. No, that doesn't even work because because this one either has to come up there or over there. So yeah, ah, this one right. It either has to extend that way or this way. So actually, we can put uh, we can mark this one as unshaded, which now means the nine can't go the the three by three can't be to the right of the nineteen. Three by three can't be to the left of the nineteen. There has to be one at the bottom and one at the top. Now and we have to avoid the four, so they've got to be like that, I think. I think that's the way those three by threes have to go. And then we need another single, which is going to go right there. And now the 20, remember, it needs a two by two because we've got 16. We need four more. So it's going to have to go right there now that we have an unshaded cell there. We can mark some more unshaded. Now the six needs a four and two ones. It's already lost one of its four potential connections and it needs three. So that one has to be a connection. So that's got to be the one. And then we need to have two fours and one of, no, no, a four and two one. Sorry, we need one four and one one. So both of these have to be in. And this one can't be a two by two. So that has to be the other single. And this one needs to be the two by two. There we go. And now this four needs to have a two by two down here. Uh, and now that forces this one. It can't go up here the other way anymore. Um, and this one's also been forced. Let's see, where do we go next? This four has to have a two by two. The nine, it could do four, four, and one, but there's not enough room for two sets of four. So it's gotta be just a nine now. So we need to have all of those, but then the other three could be the top or, no, it's gotta be down here. Cause this 10, if we don't use that, if we go up here, there's no way to get 
10 cells connected to that 10. So it's got to be those three. Now we've got 10, uh, and this one can't be because it creates a weird shape there. So that's got to be the other one for the 10. The 9 has all of its cells now. This one can't be a shaded cell because it would isolate some unshaded cells. Are we, do we isolate? Oh no, down here. <laughs> for a second I thought we had a section over here that was all isolated, but it connects through the 4, doesn't it? Which means that's got to be unshaded. Let's see, this 10 needs to be uh, 9 and 1. I don't think there's no... You could do 4, 4, 1, 1, but again, you'd be surrounding the whole thing. So it's got to be 9 and 1. The 9... Hmm. The 13's got to be a 9 and 4, doesn't it? So the 9 needs to connect to the 10 and the 13, I think. Like that? Uh, not necessarily. It could do this. Except we need to get a 4 connected to the 13, and there'd be no way to connect a 4 to it if you did that. So the 4's got to be up there, the 9 there. Uh, this has to be open to connect through. We can fill all those in. The 10 needs another one. If we put it there, we're isolating some unshaded cells. It's got to be like this, and there, and complete. There we go. That was a little over 11 minutes. I think that's pretty good for that one. I feel happy with that. First time doing Toss Square. Um, and if that's not how you pronounce it, if someone knows the right way to pronounce it, feel free to let me know. I'd appreciate that. Um, and if Otherwise, I'm just going to keep pronouncing it wrong and assume that that's it. Uh, that was a neat puzzle type. I've never seen that before. It's, it's pretty restricted, um, forcing it to be squares, because they have to be sizes of 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Um, I suppose if you had a bigger grid with bigger numbers, there'd be more potential ways to sum them up. But it's fairly limited, I think, because of the limit on the size of the squares and the fact that you can only have three numbers summed. There aren't too many that have, uh, like we did have this, the night, no, the 19 was, were there any that we had more than one way we could sum them? The 20, maybe. No? I think there's... Is there only... That'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to think about that. Is there only one way to combine squares for each number? Hmm. If you can think of a number that has more than one way that you can combine squares using at most three numbers, let me know. I'd have to think about that some more, but that might be that might be true that each you know every time you have a twenty, it might have to be a sixteen and a four. I'm not sure. Interesting. Okay, cool, cool puzzle type. That was fun. Um, let me know what you thought of that. If you enjoyed it, uh, if you were able to solve it, if you didn't understand the rules, you know whatever. Uh, I'd like to hear some feedback. Um, and also. Uh, tell your friends to subscribe so we can release that puzzle hunt and let me know what you think about channel name, if I should be changing that or keeping it the same. All right. I'll see you guys again soon with another puzzle. Thanks.